Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Jenkins on your Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, let's talk about the prerequisite of installing Jenkins on your Windows 10 operating system. In order to install Jenkins, you need to have Java 7 or above. So make sure you have the latest version of Java. And then once you have Java installed, then uh, you are ready to install Jenkins. So I have already installed Java 10 on my Windows 10 operating system. And I'm assuming that you also have the latest version of Java. So once you have Java installed, just open your favorite browser and search for Jenkins. And the first link which will appear here will be from Jenkins.io. So we are going to click on this link. So once you are on this Jenkins website, you just need to click on the downloads button here. And on the downloads page, you just need to scroll down a little. Don't click on downloads yet. We are going to see which are the versions which are available for Jenkins. So when you scroll down, you will see different versions uh, of Jenkins. One is the LTS version and the other is the weekly uh, release. So we are going to uh, use the long term support version. And the latest version is 2.107.2. And in here, we are going to choose the Windows option. So here you will see the Windows option. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is when you are installing Jenkins on Windows, it is good to run Jenkins as a service. So it starts automatically without requiring any user to log in. The easiest way to uh, install Jenkins on Windows is by using a Windows installer. But if you are an advanced user, you can also download the Jenkins WAR file and then you can deploy it on uh, servlets like Glassfish or Tomcat. But for our purpose, we want to just learn. So we are going to use the Windows installer. So I'm going to just click on Windows here. And once you click on Windows option, you will see uh, this message which says, thank you for downloading windows stable installer and you can see here it will download it as a zip file so i'm going to wait for the download to complete so now the download of this zip file is completed so i'm going to minimize the browser and i'm going to go to my downloads folder where i have downloaded this zip file and now i'm going to just open this zip file and in here i will be able to see this uh, windows installer package so i'm going to double click on this windows installer package which is going to start the Jenkins installation. So I'm going to minimize this folder explorer and you can see uh, Jenkins 2.107.2 setup window. So on this welcome window, we don't need to do anything. We just need to click next here. And this will be the default location where Jenkins will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click next and then click install and then just click yes which is going to start installing Jenkins. And in the end, you will see this message which says completed the Jenkins setup wizard. Click finish button to exit the setup wizard. So I'm going to click finish. So now Jenkins is installed on your system and it will ask in which browser you want to open it. So I'm going to click on uh, Google Chrome. And you can see on a port localhost 8080, you will be able to see this kind of window. So if this window doesn't open automatically, you just need to go to your favorite browser and then just write localhost colon 8080. So let's copy this here and just paste it here. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8080. The default port is port 8080 and I'm going to just click on this and then you will be able to see this kind of window. Okay, so if it doesn't open automatically, you can just browse on localhost port 8080. Now, first thing, in order to unlock Jenkins, you just need to provide the initial admin password. And this password is set in this directory. So just copy this path here. And then I'm going to open my folder explorer and I'm going to paste this path. And you will see uh, this file here, which is initial admin password. So you just need to open this initial admin password here. So I'm going to just uh, open it into my editor. So I'm going to open it in the notepad and you just need to copy this initial password. And then I'm going to minimize this uh, window 
and I'm going to provide my initial password and then click continue. Now in the next step, you will see a customize Jenkins window. So there are two options here, install suggested plugins and the second option is select plugins to install. So I'm going to choose this option which says install suggested plugins, which is going to install the most uh, suggested plugins in your Jenkins installation. So you can just click on install suggested plugins and this is going to start installing the suggested plugins. So you can see uh, there is a plugin for Git here, there is a plugin for uh, Subversion, plugin for GitHub, LDAP, email extension and uh, some other plugins. So right now I don't have Git installed on my system or LDAP installed on my system or even SSH slave. So if it shows some error, it's okay. So once all the plugins are successfully installed on your Jenkins, you will be automatically redirected to this page, which says create first admin user. So you just need to create uh, the admin user credentials here. So username, let's say I'm going to uh, take it as uh, admin here and password, whatever you want. I'm going to give uh, some password and then I'm going to confirm my password. And here I'm going to give the full name, for example, uh, admin once again. And the next thing is email. So I'm going to provide the email. And after providing each and every credential, you just need to click save and finish, which is going to say Jenkins is ready, start using Jenkins. So I'm going to just click on uh, this button, which says start using Jenkins and you will see this kind of window. So if you see this kind of window, that means Jenkins is fully installed on your system and Jenkins is running on your system. Now, if you want to uh, see more about Jenkins, you will be able to see uh, it inside your C directory and inside the C directory, you just need to go to program files x86 and there will be a Jenkins folder here. And inside Jenkins folder, all the plugins are there so you can see the plugins folder and uh, all the plugins are uh, here and uh, all the files related to Jenkins will be stored here. So if you want to dig deeper into Jenkins, you can uh, always come to this directory and see what's happening. So this is how you can install Jenkins on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.